1215, let's take you outside to West Bakersfield. Kevin is enjoying a nice iced tea and the sunshine. I stepped outside just about an hour ago, Kev, and I was like shocked by how cool it still was uh, at this time in the day. And it just keeps catching me off guard, these nice temperatures. And we know that they can't last forever. And that's the news you're joining us with today, <laughs> right? Yeah, it isn't going to last. In fact, I see a pretty big warm-up headed our way by the end of next week. So we get to end out this week with some very nice temperatures. In fact, the hummingbirds have been uh, flying by the bird feeders. The wind chime has been chiming with the light breeze we have out here on the west side. So today, just a perfect day. I want to show you the calendar and what we look like so far for the month of June. And you can see we got so close on the 17th of hitting that triple-digit day when we hit 99. And then after that, we've been seeing some nice temperatures. Look at the 27th. Uh, that was Tuesday. We're at 79. And then the last couple of days here, we've been seeing temperatures right near 84. Today, we're actually going to expect to see the lower 80s. But then when we take a look at next week, that's when we're going to see the change. And I'll get into that in just a second. Again, we've got great conditions from downtown Bakersfield. Temperatures right now, upper 60s in Delano, 68 in Wasco, 70 in Butt Willow. And then for the mountains, a nice afternoon with 50s and 60s right now. To Hatchby at 63 and 68 for Lake Isabella. Not a lot to show you on satellite and radar right now. Uh, we've got a little bit of that coastal cloudiness. And then for the interior part of the state, we are sunny. And we had a little bit of uh, action up uh, just east of Tahoe this morning. That is drifting northeast as of right now. And you can see things have cleared out nicely. Just a beautiful start to the afternoon there in Tahoe. And we're not expecting thunderstorms there. This is now lifting up into the northern part of the state, uh, more so up near Redding. Here's a look at daytime highs today. And you can see 80 in Sacramento, 62 and beautiful out of Tahoe. 84 in Fresno. If you're headed to Southern California, we're looking at lower 70s this afternoon. The beach is also looking very nice. But again, I remind you, if you're headed to the beaches today into the week weekend, always watch for those rip currents. And temperatures today are going to be right near 67 with clearing skies, a west wind right around 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then overall, we get this ridge out to the west that's going to slowly build into the state here in the coming days. And here is the bad news. So next Tuesday, we're in the lower 90s, and you can see we slowly bring it up on Thursday, 97, and then on Friday. That is June 30th. We're expecting 102 degrees. So Mother Nature is not right now going to let us end the month without a triple-digit temperature. And then next weekend, we're looking at temperatures right around 103. So something to look forward to. As we take a look at the air quality, going to be good with an AQI at 50. And then we take a look at the overall forecast for today. A northwest wind 5 to 15. In fact, getting a little bit breezy out here on the west side right now. So yesterday we saw very strong winds in the afternoon. Today, the strongest of the winds will probably be out here on the west side, where we could see them right around 15 miles per hour. We're looking at 81 in Bakersfield today. Delano at 81, 83 in Buttwillow. So lower 80s. For the mountains, sunny, a pleasant afternoon. Winds gusting around 35, 68 in Fraser Park, 69 in Tehachapi, and 70s for the Kern River Valley. Alta Sierra at 60. For the desert today, sunny, a pleasant afternoon. Still that breeze around, 82 in Mojave with Ridgecrest at 83. Here's a look at that extended forecast. We kind of talked about it a little bit as we see those 90s return by Monday and by the end of next week. And then for the uh, Tehachapi area, we're looking at mid-70s for the weekend, and you will slowly warm up as well. 82 by next Wednesday with mid-80s on Thursday. And then for the Kern River Valley, we'll be in the 80s this weekend and then slowly inching our way up into those 90s Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So all of Kern County is expected to see uh, that little warm up. But again, as we go throughout today, enjoy these beautiful temperatures temperatures. Enjoy that light breeze that we're expecting throughout the afternoon. Uh, I just have to say, Maddie, it's a picture perfect day.